Audubon Boys Shuttle Hurdle Relay Team joining me down here at the Audubon District Meet today as they win the district championship. We'll talk, start off with uh, Jake Mulford, who led things off here today. Jake, uh, how'd you get out of the blocks? Uh, extremely well, I thought. I got out pretty fast. I beat all the other starters to the first hurdle, and I felt like I was really moving. Was this one of your better runs this year, you think? Uh, it, it, close, close. I think if, if it wasn't my best, it had to be my second best. It was, de it was definitely one to be proud of, for sure. All the steps where you needed them to be? No, oh, definitely. I mean, last couple of times I've been hitting hurdles. I fell once, but I didn't even hit a hurdle. I've been, getting, I've been, you know, having more, you just got to have more fun with it, you know. Just don't, don't worry about those, like, misses or, you know, falls. You just got to get up and keep going. Now, as far as you're passing up with Nolan there, were you, did you see him go? Did you know everything was perfect at that time? Yeah, I mean, when I came into the line and I said the word, I mean, I saw him take off, and I, I mean, I didn't hear the other team say go or red or whatever they're saying until like another second or two after. So I mean, I knew that if I gave it to Noah, I mean, he's a three stepper, he's got it. He, he's a heck of a freshman coming in, so I knew he could handle it. And I knew the rest of the team could do really well too. What's it like then having to watch the other three guys race and going, we're in first and we got to stay there? You know, I, I started it all last year too. I mean, I'm kind of used to it, but it's like. Okay, just keep going, keep going. I know we're I know we're faster than the other team. I know we're I know we're like top one of the top in the state. I know just like it's kind of like a reputation kind of deal. Like I am looking at them. And I'm like I know these guys can do it. I know they can do it. And I I just I have a lot of faith in these guys. I really do. What's it like hitting the state? Well, again for the second year in a row, it's this pretty amazing actually. And then the girls, being rate, being ranked higher than we were last year, it's dash. it's. It, it's call energetic. It's, it's a lot of a general, general rush. You don't even realize dash. it, but like you're thinking about it, and you're doing doing like you're focusing on it so much. But it's not so much that you're not that you're making yourself sick. But it it's it's just a great feeling to have knowing that you're going back. Well, congratulations. Thanks for joining us. Best luck. We'll see you there. Yep, thank you, Jake Mulford. Let's move over now with Nolan Smith and Nolan. As Jake just said, a freshman. Ah, uh, any nerves coming into this tonight? Oh yeah, definitely. I was down before warming up and. Mitchell was down there. I was just, I was so amped. I mean, I don't know about nervous, but I was just amped and ready to go. I was, I was feeling it. Did you lean on the older guys for any experience on kind of how to handle this, or did you think I've been in this event all year? I just got to go out and run. Yeah, I was telling myself before. I said just another meet, just another race. But I was, I was a little jacked up. And Mitchell was like, Nolan, calm down. You're fine. Just another race. And I, I, yeah, it was good. How did you feel like you're in? Oh, I felt, felt pretty good. Uh, Jake, we had a good start, and all my steps were good. Rain started coming down right before, so that worried me a little bit, but it, it was all good. Not a, Didn't affect your running at all? No, not really. What's this feel like, a freshman headed to state? Did, did you imagine that when the season started this year? Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I, that was our goal, you know, make it to state, and now we've seen how we're doing throughout the state, and it's pretty impressive. And, you know, as freshmen, it's pretty good for us, and two freshmen on this team, and top in the state so yeah it's great what have you taken away from this season because next year you're going to be not a freshman you're going to be one of the leaders in this group you know that's going to be coming back with the three of you guys right here yeah um it's the same team back next year i don't next think i don't know anyone's coming up yeah. so, i mean we'll be back strong again there next year and all better and faster so we'll go next year i tell you what what are you looking forward to down at state well i just ran the highs hopefully i made it in that that's my goal i've been right on the edge all year hopefully i ran quick enough to get in but we'll see i tell you what congratulations on making state we'll look forward to seeing you down there thank you Nolan Smith again. Let's move over now to Tyler Reboff, who ran the, the third leg today. today. What was going through your mind as you watched uh, Jake and Nolan running here today? Uh, it was big to see Jake make it all the way through because he'd been had his dauber down the last couple days, but he did fine, and we all knew he would. As, when, as Nolan was approaching you, how were you getting yourself ready? What was kind of going through your mind? Uh, just getting a good getting a good start is always first priority, and getting getting ready to go because you know Nolan's going to finish strong, and just got to. Get ready to fly. What do you think's been your strength in this event all season? Um, probably as I get going. Like my start's been a little weak all year, but as I hit the third, fourth, fifth hurdle, I start picking up speed, and it, it works. Better start for you tonight, or did you run a similar race? Uh, pretty similar actually, but I'm hoping once we get down to the Blue Oval, it's a little better. What are you looking forward to down at the Blue Oval? What's going to be the first uh, thing? that you're going to look at when you get down there? Definitely just the atmosphere, all the fans, and uh, just seeing like how many people are there. It's going to be pretty crazy. 
Did you talk to Mitch or Jake or any of the older guys today about what it could be like down at State or, or, or how to mentally even prepare for today? Well, they both told me and Nolan that we just needed to calm down. It's just uh, another race. They'd been here before, and that's what we did, calm down and got the win. Well, Tyler, congratulations. Thanks for joining us here today. Tyler Reboff again. Let's move over now to Mitchell Nelson, who's actually qualified now in two events here today. He qualified in the 110s here just a moment ago along with the shuttle. Let's talk about the shuttle first. Uh, Mitch, congratulations. As you were watching the three guys and you were seeing you were in first place and that lead continued to kind of build a little bit, what was going through your mind on what you needed to do? Yeah, I always like when they're building the lead up. I just know I got to just be smooth, do my thing. And I guess today I was a little more... When Tyler says go, just make sure you don't fall start, you know, don't get, just run our race, we, we're coming in, and he knew too, we were probably going to have a lead, so just take we it easy, do our thing, Robin, we'll get the state. Well, I know Valley, you're Bruno, used to being Bruno, in the lead with this group, but you know as the guy that closes out a race that Walter there's always Ford, other Ford, guys that can Wilson, run the hurdles Valley, well. Did you ever Thomas feel anybody coming up or feel any pressure that maybe somebody will get me and I just got to run smooth? I didn't, I didn't feel too much that tonight, I guess, uh. They were, we had a big lead, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be ready for that at State. There'll be a lot of good anchors there I'll be competing with. So. How do you kind of keep your mind as you're running, you know, that last leg, especially when you're not being pushed and you're wanting to get a good time because that is going to affect where you guys run Riley and which lanes you'll run in down at State? Randy yeah, I just, I focus on my steps Please and report. just my, boys, my form and just do what I always do. Let's talk now about that uh, 110. How'd you get out of the blocks tonight? I got out pretty quick from the blocks. Uh, I think I had the lead right at the this first hurdle the already, but for the girls then getting into the hurdles, I was uh, feeling a little sloppy the whole way down. I think I clipped six of the ten hurdles or something tonight. It was pretty sloppy, but I think my feet were quicker in between, so I was evening out a little bit. Ran about my same time. I... I even clipped a couple in Nolan's lane right next to me. He wasn't too happy about that <laughs> afterwards. But. <laughs> How did you get over and clip those? I, my trail leg dash. was just kind of wide today, I guess. Camp, just just clip the edge of his. From okay. how, do you, how do you work on Neville cleaning that up? It's probably Sanders. been something that hasn't been an issue all year, but how do you clean that up by next week? Yeah, it, it's an issue once in a while, but tonight more so. I just be a little more focused, I guess. I was maybe a little too relaxed tonight coming into it, but... I'll be rearing to go with some better competition at state. What's your goal down at state uh, between the shuttle and, and also the 110s? I think shuttle, I think we have a chance to win mm -hmm. state. And for me, I'd, I think top three would be a great place for the highs. Top top five I'd be very happy with as well. What's the feeling of qualifying for two different events as of now? That's It's a great feeling. I'm really happy with it. Uh, got a little more work to do tonight. I think I can maybe get one or two more. I tell you what, Mitch, best of luck coming up, and congratulations so far. Thanks.